Hi everyone, my name is Lucho, welcome in the workshop. I want to make a premise. This video is a personal challenge of mine, in which I paint an old miniature, actually my very first miniature, at 6 years old. The challenge is all about painting such a huge miniature without disassembling it. explain you why in a sec. First of all, I want to thank my first Patreon, Martin. You are the best. Let's start with the dragon. The base colors have Doom Boom Brown for the skin, Corn Red for the wings, Mephisto Red for scales, Black for claw, Screaming Scammer for Thief Spikes and uh, Dunder Belly, Demonet Hide for gums, Nagarod Knight for tongue, Rhinoxide for the tree and Dashing Grey for rocks. While starting shading his skin with Dragonoff Nightshade, I'll tell you why this model couldn't be painted disassembled. The reasons can look silly, but at that time I was still a newbie. Well, that was my first miniature. I glued all the pieces with super glue plus cornstarch paste. Works similarly to putty when hard, so it was nearly impossible for me to detach pieces. All that super glue override the putty was the final touch. <laughs>
skin after the blue wash. This dragon won't have bright colors at all. I decided to give it a moon-like illumination. First I light done with a 1 1 mix of Dumbo Brown and Mephisto Red. While painting, I take this opportunity to introduce a doubt I had since Game Workshop presented the Day Night Holes. As aesthetics gone beyond stability, don't get me wrong, I like GW miniature, some of them are lovely. Yes, thank you, Dumbo Reaper, I'm talking about you. But there's a bug. In the last years, a lot of them gone too far, in my opinion. They look good, yes, but are way too baroque and fragile. Second highlight with two parts Mephisto Red and one Dumbo Brown. Let me know what you think about this GW style. The list of risky miniatures is long, like the Stormcast Eternal Prosecutor, where all the miniature weight stay in a little piece of cloth, or the Mortis Engine, and a lot of undeads in general, full of little tiny spikes ready to break. Even the Isharon Soul Render I both at some weak point. Give it a look by clicking the upper right corner.
actually I like done with the pure Mephisto red. You know, while painting this dragon, I noticed that it has a good stability thanks to the smart use of its tail around the tree. So my final question is, are we sure they can keep the baroque style without losing stability? I'm quite sure they can. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this. Now, let's go back to the dragon, shall we? Last the light done with Evil Sun Scarlet. I tried to give highlights some textures, following the dragon's wrinkles. Blend the all colors and make the red dragon really red. I mean the glaze of Mephiston red. Then even more the belly and the skin, I wash out the white zones with the wagon orange. In the meanwhile, I started to wash wings with the druki violet, useful while waiting the glazes to dry.
shadows until we reach the pure Dragunov night shade for the deepest recesses. After some layers it looks more red and less brown, just what I wanted. Keeping the hand stable was quite tough for lighting wings. If you add the infernal temperatures in this period, the picture is complete. This highlight I simply added some screaming skull into the red until I reached the pink tone.
recesses and just use it to drop enough nice shade. to blend the colors in the wigs too. This time use a truss layer orange. For all the wounds and scratches on his wings, I used the Drew Cape Violet for the shade and pink for the highlight part. These scales follow the same color gradient as the skin, but they start from a fist or red at base, which means that they'll have orange as final highlight. the worst part for me is packs and teeth were such a pain in the ass to paint because of hard positioning trying to do my best in here shade is with the hard rocks hard shade and the pure scream is called for the highlight being hard to reach and paint is part of a challenge no
that is my favorite part, the basing. Using clay to create some appropriate rocks all around the base railroad rock gave me the opportunity to be creative. There can be a dragon without a treasure, no? What I use as base is soap casing, much better than wasting 15 bucks for a chunk of wood both online. For the base, I'll just show you the list of all colors using the dry brush technique. Okay, this miniature is complete. Whole considering, I'm quite satisfied. Sorry if camera is not always on focus, but positioning is part of the challenge. The hot summer and spikes were the real challenge, just like the bottom part on wings. If you appreciated this video, leave a like, share and comment. And if you disliked this video, let me know why, so I can try to make it better. And if you are interested, check my Patreon page. See you in the next project. Bye!